So you will need two free programs. Number one, Open Broadcaster software, or you can use Streamlabs or XSplit, which is a paid uh, software you can also use, but I'm going to be using OBS today, as well as NVIDIA Broadcast. NVIDIA Broadcast is a new software that enhances your microphone and your voice to a studio professional level of awesomeness. So let's install first OBS settings and then we can go back to NVIDIA broadcast. Alright so on OBS or Streamlabs or XSplit whichever suits your fancy you are going to be copying and pasting these similar audio filters. So my first one is, now keep in mind, I did recently update OBS, so this is on the latest version as of December 31st, 2020. So for me, I found the method RN noise higher quality works the best for me. There are two settings, there is a specs, which has lower CPU usage, but this does not get rid of the background audio completely, at least for me. So choose the higher quality version with RN noise. Next up is noise gate. So you are going to need to play around with this, especially with the open threshold setting. Make sure when you do change your settings, record yourself doing a quick little commentary. Make sure these settings are not cutting off your voice. And for me, the best settings are close threshold, negative 32 dB, open threshold, negative 42 dB, attack time 25 ms, hold time 200 ms, release time 150 ms. So like I said, you will need to play around with the noise gate options. Not every option you see will work right off the bat for every person out there. But generally, these are the settings that you need to use. So next up is compressor. So ratio setting is 10, 0, 0, 1. Threshold, negative 25.10 dB. Attack. 6 ms, release 60 ms, output gain is 0, side chain slash ducking source, I have that set to none, I don't use audio ducking, but if you do, you would have to change that yourself manually, I personally don't use that. So moving on, gain, I find using a software audio gain setting is best compared to the actual microphone uh, gain. So instead of turning your gain all the way up on your HyperX Quadcast microphone, I have mine set at the middle point at number three. It's not too loud or too quiet, it's just right. So you should not increase it further than that. It will Increase your background audio noise the higher you set your gain on your microphone itself. So try not to do that. And also speaking of the microphone, I am on the cardioid setting, which is like in the shape of a heart. And it works best for voiceovers, commentaries, etc. etc. So with OBS out of the way. For now, uh, we are going to go back to this. We are going to be now installing NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'll have a link to each thing I use in this video so you guys can go download it yourself. I do believe you can use NVIDIA Broadcast with a GTX series card as well as a RTX series card. The first option is with your microphone, you're going to want to select your microphone source, which obviously is the HyperX Quadcast, and then turn on noise removal. 
Make sure this is toggled green. Make sure the strength is all the way up as well. Next up is speakers. So if your friends in a voice chat, for example, is loud typing or opening a bag of chips or has a loud fan or an air conditioner, etc., etc., you can turn this on as well. Also, make sure you turn on your speakers as well. Mine is the Realtek High Definition Audio. So, without further ado, the next thing is you're done with the video broadcast for now. You're going to want to go back to OBS and then go to audio. So now you can select your microphone, which is now NVIDIA Broadcast. Okay, so make sure you, you do not select your Quadcast microphone. Make sure you set it to NVIDIA Broadcast. Because remember, with NVIDIA Broadcast, we have set it up to have that enhanced noise removal. So you won't be hearing that hissing or humming of the background noise anymore. So hopefully this video has helped you out. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching. If you are new to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do enjoy the content, I really do appreciate every single one of you. All right. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays to everyone out there. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.